What's up everybody and welcome to a new video series. In this series we're going to cover the basics of deep learning. So what is deep learning? It's a specific type of machine learning algorithm. In fact, it's a whole class of algorithms that have all some basic properties in common, but they can look quite different based on what they are supposed to achieve. But for now, it's only important to know that deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Therefore, now it makes sense to have first a general understanding of what machine learning is. And if you don't have that yet, you can watch the first video of my What is Machine Learning series. And I will put the link to that uh, into the video description. And if you already have a general understanding of machine learning, then let's now talk about two important aspects that you need to consider when thinking about any supervised machine learning algorithm. Namely, first, how does the algorithm make a decision? On machine learning terms, how does it make a prediction? So for example, the decision tree algorithm makes a prediction by consecutively asking questions about an example. And that way, the number of potential classes that this example could be is step by step reduced. So that ultimately there's only one class left, which is then our prediction. So that's how the decision tree makes a, a decision. And now let's look also at another example, which is the linear regression algorithm. The way that uh, you make a decision here is that you first realize that there seems to be a linear relationship between this variable and that variable. So between the height of a person and that person's weight. And since there is such a linear relationship, uh, it can be approximated with such a line. And the particular equation of this line looks like this. So the weight equals 1.085 times the height minus 117.017. And if you want to now predict the weight of a person, you simply measure their height and then you put in that height into this equation. And that way you get an approximate uh, prediction of what that person is probably weighing. So that's the first uh, aspect that you need to consider. The second one is then, how do you determine the right parameters for the algorithm? And the parameters of the algorithm are, so to say, the tuning knobs that we can change so that the algorithm is eventually able to make correct predictions. So for example, uh, the parameters of the decision tree are the specific questions that we're going to ask. And the particular algorithm we use to determine those questions and thereby create this decision tree looked like this. And if you're interested in how that works in detail, you can watch my coding a decision tree from scratch video series. And I will also put the link to that into the video description as well. But basically the most important element of this algorithm was this step where we determined the question with the lowest overall entropy. And the formula for that looked like this. And here, the most important element was this one, the entropy itself. And its formula in turn looked like this. So at the core, the way we determined those questions or the parameters of the algorithm was by calculating this entropy. So that's how we determined the parameters of the decision tree and the parameters of the linear regression algorithm are uh, the slope of this line and the y-intercept. If we change the slope, then we can change uh, the steepness of the curve. And if we change the y-intercept, then we can uh, move the line up or down. And if we now want to find the best uh, values for those parameters, so that this line eventually uh, best approximates all those points, then we can use a method called ordinary least squares. And if we now uh, write this formula in its more general form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, then we can simply calculate the best values for those parameters by using those equations. And now to conclude, as you can probably see in this slide, this first aspect uh, that you need to consider is 
generally speaking, less heavily based on math and it's more about the conceptual idea behind the algorithm. So how one might approach the problem of implementing an automated decision-making process. And then the second aspect is then a little bit more heavily based on math. And it's then about to uh, make the implementation of this high-level concept possible. At least that's my observation. And the same thing will also be true for the deep learning algorithm. So next up, we're going to look at what the conceptual idea is behind the deep learning algorithm and how it makes a decision. And this will be the topic of the upcoming video. So thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.